I was born at a very young age. On the day of my birth, a wise monk approached my mother while holding the epic scroll of truth to find out who this baby will grow up to be. With a nervous sigh, my mother greets him and is ready to learn the future of this new life she holds in her arms. The wise monk reassures her there is nothing to worry about as he unravels the scroll and smiles to himself. This piques my mother's curiosity. What is it? Will he be a doctor? A lawyer? She asks eagerly. No, no, none of that, he says, smiling as he clears his throat. Your son will... Upload YouTube videos once a fucking year. Alright, have fun. Okay, I'm me, you're you, now that that's out of the way, yes, it has been a very long time. So before you start slamming down your Cheeto dust-covered keyboard to comment about how I never upload, grab your inhaler and enjoy this video. So here you go, random shit that happened to me over the past year. I started working at McDonald's again because apparently once you go Mac, you never go back. Anyway, I started working there again and COVID had just hit. It was amazing. Man, we would be completely dead for hours on end. It was amazing. But a couple of weeks later, people stopped caring about the pandemic and my happy ass is making $50 orders all day long. What a time to be alive. So later I ended up going to night shift, bought a truck, met human garbage, and met Don. Here you go Don, I put you in a video. Stop fucking asking. Oh yeah, I forgot, I crashed that truck into the side of some old lady's house. Yeah, that actually happened. I wouldn't recommend it at all. One star on Yelp. Now let me tell you how that happened. It was Christmas Eve, and I was about to finish my shift. Now on Christmas Eve, we were supposed to leave at 6. Keywords, supposed to. Now you would think that since it was Christmas Eve and there was 9 feet of fucking snow on the ground outside, people wouldn't want to come in and order a Big Mac. But need I remind you, some people are fucking retarded. Welcome to the second fucking Ice Age, what can I get for you? Yeah, I need a... Uh, you know what, I'll make it quick, give me 40 McChicken. You think you know what's good to eat on Christmas? Turkey? Ham? Well guess what dumbass, you're fucking wrong, because apparently it's $80 worth of good old Mickey D's. So a few hours past closing time, I start to get a little heated, because I'm up to my asshole in orders, and honest to god, if I didn't know I had the next day off, I would've went to jail that night. So after we finally get the store closed, there's even more snow on the road than before, and I'm in such a pissy mood thanks to the local crackheads coming in and sharing their 40 McChickens with the Holy Spirit, I just think, eh ah, fuck it, I don't live that far from here. Now I lived about two miles away from the store, but the issue is I have to go up and over a big ass hill covered in ice and snow to get home. Now if I wasn't in such a bad mood, I would have left and stayed at a friend's house, but me being the stubborn prick that I am, I decided to drive my truck up the hill anyway. And I actually got pretty far, I was going down the hill and I was within 100 feet of my house. I was so confident. And then I start sliding. I'm like, whoa, that mailbox is getting pretty close, uh, let me just lightly turn the wheel this way. Oh fuck! Yep, I crashed right into the corner of this house. It didn't do that much damage, but it was enough to piss someone off. So I get out, I'm freaking out, I go up to the front door and knock, and then some little old lady opens the door my dumbass is like, Hey, Merry Christmas! There's a fucking truck in the side of your house. And long story short, I'm still paying for the damages of that house. Now you're probably wondering, well, wouldn't his insurance have covered that? Well, surprise, surprise, I didn't fucking have insurance. You know what that meant? I had to pay the whole thing out of pocket. Yippee. A few weeks later, I'm waiting for the bill in the mail. Now, I make it sound bad, but I didn't hit that house that hard. I was expecting a grand at most. I get that bill and I open it up and I almost shit myself. Five thousand dollars. Like, goddamn, you can at least take me out to dinner if you're gonna fuck me like this. So the lesson of the story is, you might think it's always have insurance on your car, but no, that's not it at all. The lesson is, don't go to McDonald's on Christmas Eve, you fucking meth head. You might cause an old lady to get a truck through her house. The end.